Hello, hello. Right, it is uh, Wednesday the 10th of March. Got the old Seuss cooch out ready for undercoat. So yeah, I've been um, sanding a lot of this work down. Uh, Roy's coming to fit all the lights and do a load more electrical work on Friday. So I'm gonna be down here for a full day. Today I'm just here at one o'clock just because I finished early. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is um, just because I can. Um, I'm going to get some coats of paint on everything that's been um, primed, ready for it. Um, this needs plaster in, but I can't do that until I've done that. Um, that needs plaster in that little section up there, which I can do, so I'll probably do that on Friday. But for now, I'm going to stop waffling and paint. And I'll come back once I've done some painting. Um, have I got any paint on my face? You would tell me, wouldn't you? <laughs> okay, um... So as you can see, that's the first mist coat done. Um, I'm just going to show you. So, as you can see, very, very watery. Basically, I've done it like that. So it really soaks in and hopefully we won't have this issue where we had it peeling on the last stuff but I think purely that was the colour of paint so I'm not overly bothered. Um, so that's that Seuss Cooch stuff mixed with some water. I'm now going to do a coat of it with just a little bit of water. I'm going to do two coats of that and then we've got that other paint just there that we're going to paint. Um, Sharon um, painted with it on her project the other day and it's very very thick. And I told her to wet it down and she wouldn't listen and she painted it and it, it, it didn't look that great to be quite honest. So um, I will certainly be watering it down. I don't know if it was a roller as well, but um, we shall see what happens. But yes, I will uh, carry on painting, but not filming because it's just pointless. Bonjour, good morning. It's the day after the other day video. Um, <coughs> right, obviously I've been painting in here. Um, everybody's favourite electrician is turning up today. Yes, that's right, Roy. Good old Roy. Happy smiley Roy. Um, he's going to come. Hopefully, we're going to get lights in here. Definitely, we're going to get lights in here. And maybe some sockets and stuff, if we're really lucky. Um, it's so dusty in here, it's ridiculous. I need to have a hoover up to clear it up because we're just getting dust everywhere every time we come in. Um, I really, really, really need to sort this area out because obviously he needs to get on ladders to get to all the lights. Um, that's going to keep me busy. And um, I'm not saying I'm making a start, but I'm doing a few little things to, to the bathroom. So obviously this bathroom area will be tiled. We're gonna be using tile backerboard. Um, it needs to be set out at 300 centers. So I need to frame this out and get some insulation in. So just to use some materials up, I'm gonna slap some insulation in there and possibly put the metal up as well. Who knows, I'm gonna get cracking and as always, I'll come back periodically, waffle away and no doubt shove the camera in Roy's face when he turns up. So, um, well, hi there, I'm back. Well, I tell you what, this COVID is a real problem, isn't it? I think I might have got the Brazilian uh, uh, blend. <laughs> well, I've lost my taste, my spell, and all my pubes have started falling out. <laughs> Whoa, 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 this is a family show, boy. This is a family show. Only above the panty line. Anyway, um, it's really nice to be back with Perry, my little passion muffin. How are you? I'm good, I'm good, boy. Thank you very much. Oh, you're a hit, mate. I'm a hit. You're a hit. Um, one of my new clients, his wife, loves you so much, she wanted you on the job. Oh, my God. On the job? Well, no, electrical. No, no, oh, working. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Uh, you're, you're too busy in this. I'm, too I'm a bit too old for that sort of thing. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking of gender transitioning, actually. <laughs> anyway, that's, that's right. What, what, what are we up to, Roy? Right. Well, actually, Oi. what we're doing here, we're putting down lighters in, ready, and we'll have them all operational by the end of today. In an hour. In an hour. <laughs> yeah. I'll yeah. Tell you what, it's hard work here. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having one of my, 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 my morning flashes. <laughs> morning flashes. <laughs> one of my morning flashes. Yeah, so basically Roy's running all the down lighters because like I said in one of the earlier videos, we want to get this place lit up and next door ideally as well. So 
There's a lot of switches to be dealing with, isn't there, Roy? There's a lot. Certainly. How many switches we got to operate these lights? Uh, we got some um, one, two, three main switches that operate a telerupter unit, which is like a relay that turns all of these on and off, which means you only need to run two cords to each switch. Plus, we've also got a switch for the uh, LED special lighting display. Um, don't know quite what we're doing in that room with lighting, but we're doing in this room. Okay? Just everything's ran. All the cables are there. Oh right, so get some bulbs on there. Just, just connect it up and get some feed there. I sprung that on it. <laughs> we might need the wall in there though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Minor details, Roy, minor details. So yeah, Roy's cracking on with that. I'm having a really good tidy up. Um, so I'm restacking all the tiles. That's all been swept out. Like I said, look, we've insulated it. That's done because this is the next room that's going to be getting done. So occasionally I'll be going in there doing some stuff, using up some materials. Um, I asked Karen to come and help, but she's far too busy. Um, basically, this really does need to be sorted out in here because it's an absolute mess. So I think I'm probably going to start stacking and moving stuff around in here next. Look, he almost looks like a pro. Look, he's got proper cable machines and everything. Right, I'm just using up material, so I've got some metal. Just so whilst I'm cleaning up, I'm gonna fit some stuff. So like I said earlier, this needs um, 300 centers to um, take the tile back aboard. So um, I'll quickly fit some there. Yeah, does, does the makeup look all right? Uh, okay, Sylvie. Oh, okay, we're ready, on. Ready, um, <laughs> action. Oh. Uh, so here we are at Electric Roy's School of Electrical Arts. Yes, here we are again. Now I'm going to show you how to terminate a downlighter. You get your knife, be very careful, make sure an adult is doing this, children. Don't do it at home. Pull off the outer sleeving, put your glasses in, see what you're doing. Carefully strip the ends. Just like that. Wait, 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 wait. You're supposed to touch the metal bits together and make sure it's not live first though. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, make sure it's turned off at the board first. Right, here we go. Right, I'm going to stick the end in the live there. Now these are push fit connectors. Now, the interesting thing is, some electricians don't like using them, they prefer screws. However, screws become loose because of the 50 hertz cycle. So, push fit should stay stuck for years. Close it up, pop the end up there, get a down lighter, just gonna get it here. And uh, I've got one ready prepared. Pop that in your ear. That hole's not big enough. That hole's not big enough. You need to make sure your hole's big enough before you put your light fit I, in. I forgot to tell you that. Oh, right, right, come back in 10 minutes, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Right. Um, How's the hole not big enough? <laughs> I forgot to mention to boy that my hole saw is three mils smaller than his oh, one. Oh, shit. I think even this one's slightly. Is it? Um, that's my fault because my hole saw is not as big. Um, little trick whilst we are doing this, so if you ever come on this where you have to drill a hole that's already there, bit of wood, like that. Hold it against there nice. And then that way it stops the hole saw moving around and you get a nice clean cut. This is only had one mist coat on it, so I'm just doing a second mist coat and then it shows off the, the little defects. And there we are. Right fitting in. Are we still on there? Yes, yes, we're oh still on there. Yes, yes, still got me. Sorry. Oh, Sorry. I've got to put my stage on the solar on. Yes, quick, change your voice. Oh, hello. Oh, hi, Janet. <laughs> oh, don't straight pulls for here. LEDs, of course. Every home should have these. These used to be 50 watts. They're now 5 watts with the same lumen 
output. That is a huge saving. So anyone that's listening to this, convert all your light fittings to LEDs. It pays you back within six months. Effectively, what Roy is saying for all these downlighters that I've got on this ceiling is the equivalent of having one chip on it. Ah, uh, how many do you One, two, three, four, five, six. That's 300 watts. You're actually talking of using 30. It is a massive saving. So go out, get your LEDs. I, I must send my bill to Philips. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I hope that helped guys. What I can't actually believe, Roy, is I've just watched you wire that up and it's like, why am I paying you bloody good money to do that when I can do that Exactly. Myself? Perry, you could do this yourself. I could, can I? Instead of getting me and paying me uh, 500 euros a day to come do your so you could do it. And then I remember, save a fortune, you'd be rich. Remember, I'm colour blind. <laughs> <laughs> right, there you go. I thought I'd let Roy take over and do a bit of schooling because I know you all love him. Um, easy to carry on doing that. Yeah, I'm carrying on, Steve. Carrying on, that's it. And um, as I said in that earlier clip, this is what I'm doing. Just putting the centre studs in to take the tail back and forth. It's a bit dark in there for filming, so I'm just not bothering doing it. But um, that's going to look really nice. It's good. They're called train of bombs, <laughs> Lovely. As they say in France. <laughs> Hello, Sky. Surprise visit, surprise inspection. You're going to say hello to everybody. Yeah. Can you show everybody that you're walking a lot better now? Look. Woohoo! Good, good job we were here working, wasn't it? <laughs> what are you doing down there? Hmm. Yeah, he's on the phone. Go on, get him out of work. Oh, 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 sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right, as you can see, lots and lots of lights. It's going to be very, very bright in here. So that's all sorted. I've had a really big clear out. I've done a bachettery run. I'm basically trying to clear that wall there. So if I get any, you know, spare time. Building metal walls is a nice like little pastime. It doesn't take a lot. I can just grab my one little kit bag, come in, do an hour here and there, and it'll soon add up. So yep, getting rid of that stack, moving it out of the way, and we'll start doing that. Um, Roy's pretty much finished doing what he's doing, so we'll be firing up the lights in a minute, so we'll show you that in the next clip. Just, um, we're just setting the scene, getting a bit dark in here. <laughs> Roy just said we should set up a banger so it smokes and sparks when <laughs> he turns the lights off. Right. Right, here we are. After I've oh. Very hard. Oh, are we, are we on air? <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say, pull your bit of cable out of the way so we can close the door and make it a pro oh. proper dark in here. Oh, that's better. Oh, so nice being in a dark room with you, Perry. Giggity. My little passion muffin. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, excuse my brain. Hey, it works. It's nice. I tell you what, what, that's good, isn't it? That looks good, that. Yep, not too bright. No, that's nice. No, that's just nice. That's what we said. We, I, we obviously discussed lighting plans and that, and I said to Roy, <laughs> like, in here again, we'll do the um, warm lights, because we don't want it bright in here. At the end of the day, it's a chill-out room, you know, it's where we're going to relax. And... So, um, well done. And also, as you can see, we've done the hallway lights on a separate switch. He managed, after whinging about it, to integrate it into this switch here. Lost 10 minutes of my life that I'll never get back, hadn't put extra wires in. Put all the old ones out, new ones in, and this Perry just saying, get on with it. I mean, this is an art form. You can't just keep interfering with it, Perry. That's why they're called artisans. Mm. They, 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 they white, they white wipes. No, they are. No, that, it was a bit bright because it's more concentrated, isn't it? The same one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's just because the. Right, okay, happy days. Um, 2700 Kelvins, these ones. Oh, yeah. Not, not Lumen, it's Kelvins. No, no, no Kelvins. That's, that's the colour temperature of the ground. It's like how to and how do with Roy. Yes. Maybe we should have his own separate series. Maybe we should start a, a, yeah. a, 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 a Roy Chu channel. A Roy Chu? <laughs> yes, can you imagine. <laughs> right, you're going to sign off. You're going to say goodbye. Yes, sir. Uh, well, it's good night from him, and it's good night from me.
see you next time on This Old French House with Perry, your little passion muffin. <laughs> so, so <laughs>